What's up guys? In my element right now. Check it out. In the bush, breathing the good air. Just here at Woodhill Mountain Bike Park. I've got the bike. Beautiful. This is a machine right here, specialized epic. Can't beat it. <laughs> Not sponsored by the way. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I just wanted to Show you guys the freedom, show you guys the freedom of not having any colitis, ulcerative colitis or any kind of gut issues because of a plant-based diet. Okay, so stay tuned. Some people also say that vegans only eat grass or vegans only eat salad. Does this look like salad to you? <laughs> Does this look like grass to you? Hey guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at High Carb Health and also click on the green H so you get to see exactly what I eat and what I get up to every single day. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon so that you get all our notifications for our recent uploads. The reason I wanted to make this video is because this is what I ate for my birthday and boy or oh boy was it one of the most amazing plant-based feasts I've ever had in my life. There was about 30 different fibers in there including herbs and spices and you know this is what plant-based living is about eating healthy whole plant foods. Okay plants are not toxic for the body. Please do not listen to people on YouTube that say that because it's not true. Okay it's not true. You could be indulging in this beautiful plant kingdom right here. There's so many different varieties of plant foods that you can eat. It is endless, okay? It is so amazing. When you get onto this side of plant-based living, you're reducing a risk of heart disease, diabetes, cancer, stroke, and many, many more diseases. So, what are you waiting for, guys? What are you waiting for? Check out this amazing feast. Obviously, you can't just go off the bat and eat this food. It's not going to work, is it? You have to slowly get the right fibers in you, and then you'll be able to expand your diet and eat fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lentils, legumes, nuts, and seeds. Right? This is what you should be eating for longevity. Okay? The longest living people in the world. Okay? The blue zones. Check them out. The longest living people in the world eat predominantly plant-based. Okay, so that means that 90% of their calories are coming from plants. Sweet potatoes, potatoes, beans, rice, vegetables. Okay, <laughs> nuts and seeds. <laughs> they're not eating for a little bit of meat. That's not where they're getting their nutrition from. They're getting their nutrition from a whole array of plant foods. Okay. <laughs> and if so, some people out there are saying that plants don't have any nutrition in them yeah that's pretty stupid um, I wouldn't be listening to those people at all uh, you know it's been eight years now for me vegan no issues and medication free too so <laughs> follow me on Instagram so you see exactly what I get up to every single day and I'm just showing you guys the truth, I'm showing you guys a life after colitis and Crohn's disease. If you want it, it's there to get. Okay, got to do the hard work, got to heal yourself, you got to reverse the damage that has been caused throughout your whole lifetime of eating shit. Okay, that includes vegetarians that eat and drink milk, cheese, yogurt, dairy products. Okay, they're not meant for us and you shouldn't be eating them. It's liquid meat. Okay, that's what I call dairy, liquid meat. Some people also say that vegans only eat grass or vegans only eat salad. Does this look like salad to you? <laughs> Does this look like grass to you? And some of you might say, oh, 
I'd get so bloated after this after this meal. I'd get stomach cramps. I'd get bloated. If I was getting these symptoms, I wouldn't be eating this, right? So you've got to heal your gut. You've got to digest, be able to digest plants and heal the gut first and then go on to these foods. So you will be able to eat them if you do all the right things, okay? And, and plants are good for you, okay? They're really good for your microbiome. And, you know, the American Gut Association has come out, you know, they did, they did the last, largest ever study on the microbiome and they said increase the quantity of plant foods in your diet. They said around 30 different fibers or vegetables and fruits a week. That will make your gut microbiome strong and healthy and fit. This is one of the main reasons why I live for. I don't live for food. I live for doing this, riding my bike, getting out in the trails, and enjoying life. Don't revolve your life around food. Revolve your life around doing this sort of stuff and what you, whatever you're into. Okay. Otherwise, you're getting into like getting into an eating disorder. You keep thinking about food. Make your food boring and your life interesting. All right. And food isn't actually that boring, by the way. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, you know, you guys will be able to eat this food as well. Why shouldn't you be able to eat this? This is whole plant foods. And work your gut up to eating this way. You know, there's so many different amazing foods out there. So, take care, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe for more videos like this. See you later.